So my name is Harrison Box. I am uh, the founder of Paladin Space, and we're removing space debris. We're developing technology to not just make space more safe for everyone to use, but to make space more accessible for everyone to use. Oh. I can tell you right now that we've got at least 9,000 tons of debris already in orbit, which is a crazy number, but I think the crazier number is how fast these items are traveling. So even if you have a piece as small as this little lead screw nut or a pen, they're traveling about seven and a half kilometers a second, which is equivalent to about 10 times the speed of a bullet. Regardless of their size, they'll pack a serious punch. And uh, for that reason, we're, we're looking at for Paladin Space, looking at trying to remove these smaller items. But essentially what we have is we have a satellite bus with uh, an empty slot, like an empty area of the bus that can uh, have an empty container slotted into it. So that container is our payload. And that container contains the IP that we've generated, the mechanism that allows multiple pieces of debris to be captured and not be uh, released once the doors open again. Our solution can accommodate all those different sizes, shapes, and spin rates. And essentially, once they are ingested inside the container, the doors will close, we'll move to a different part of the orbit to collect another piece, we'll reopen the doors. That mechanism we've designed will not permit the existing stuff to escape. And we can just keep on going until that container is completely full. And once that container is full, the best bit is we've got multiple options now at this point. We can A, get rid of the container by ejecting it. It goes into a destructive re-entry in the Earth's atmosphere, it's burned up and it's gone. And that leads me to option B, where we use the debris that we've captured inside that container. So we're hoping to be able to, in the future, have all that debris inside the container being sent to an in-orbit servicing station. And that in-orbit servicing station will be able to then recycle the debris, repurpose it, maybe use it for repairs on uh, existing active satellites. You have a company, a big company like Astroscale, for example, removing the large pieces of debris. You'll need a company like us as well to remove the smaller pieces. And a great example is the mission that's coming up with the European Space Agency. The mission was meant to be a simple uh, rendezvous, grab of the large piece of debris and deorbit it. However, scientists have just realized that there's fragments from that piece of debris that are in proximity to this large piece which complicates the mission because now they have to somehow avoid the fragments and just go over the big piece. And that for us really solidifies part of our business case. That's a direct benefit of our solution that we can remove the small pieces so they can go for the large piece and ensure the safety of the mission.